Hello everybody. Now I want give my presentation to you about catalytic decarboxylation of palm oil to green diesel over pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst under subcritical water by Desi Septriana. And the outline of my research, we can see like this. And next, background of my research, like uh, this figure. 46 million, million tons of crude palm oil production and 3 million tons of crude palm kernel oil in 2018 equivalent with 700 until 715,000 barrels per day of fuel. So, the solution is green diesel. Green diesel is drop-in or non-oxygenated biofuel similar to diesel petroleum and obtained by the oxygenation. Because similar properties between petro diesel with renewable diesel. We can see certain number, energy density, density, energy content, cut point, oxidative stability, cloud properties, lubricity, sulfur, and OX emission. So we can conclude green diesel can be mixed 100% with petroleum diesel or EN9. 115 or ISTM 975 data. Next, we can see development of green diesel in the world and Indonesia today. Commercial technology now is an next BTL eco finding dynamic pools LLC and UPM Bioferno. Indonesia is Pertamina conducts in the end of 2018 trial pass, namely 7.5% RBDPO into green gasoline and green diesel with the co-processing process at the fluid catalytic cracking facility at Plaju Refinery. And next, Pertamina conducts trial pass at the end of 2019 and the last Pertamina has collaborated with any eco finding in developing the green refinery in Indonesia. Problem of statement in this research. Current commercial technology use hydrogen gas and noble metal catalyst, namely palladium carbon and platinum carbon. We know palladium carbon and platinum carbon as commercial catalysts are expensive and hydrogen gas is expensive too. So we must find solution, namely hydrothermal deoxygenation. Hydrothermal decarboxylation from triglyceride triglycerides without hydrogen oxide with nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst activated carbon catalyst as non noble metal and next the objective of my research is evaluate performance pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst in hydrothermal decarboxylation and next, theoretical basic. At the first, hydrolysis of triglycerides, and next, hydrolysis of glycerol, and next, water gap shift reaction, and next, hydrogenation of oleic acid, and the last, the oxygenation of steric acid, namely, decarboxylation of steric acid, decarbonylation of steric acid, and the last cracking. The main product 
This research is heptadecan from the carboxylation of steric acid. Materials in this research. The first, cooking oil, namely bimoly. Two, pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon based on previous study. And next, equibides. And next, experimental methods. We can see figure 1, schematic of batch reactor setup. Methods of hydrothermal decarboxylation. At the first, we must impute cooking oil and next, pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst and the last, the ionized water in ethoclaf 300 mil, milliliter at, at conditions. Temperature is 300, 300 and 10 and 320 and the last 300, 330. And the last we can see product of hydrothermal decarboxylation in figure 2. And next, analytical methods. We can compute percentage removal of carboxylic acid or conversion. And next, we can determine yield of saturated and unsaturated stretch chain hydrocarbon. And next, we can compute percentage selectivity of green diesel. We can see this equation, this section. And next, in table 1, conversion of oleic acid and steric acid from hydrothermal decarboxylation product using pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst. We can conclude the conversion of oleic acid and steric acid is almost 100% converted at various temperatures from 300 degrees Celsius until 330 degrees Celsius. And next, in figure 3, GCMS chromatogram of hydrothermal decarboxylation products at 330 degrees Celsius with pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst. There are 12 detected peaks that represent the components or compound contained in the, the carboxylation product. Each peak of each component has a different area according to different of retention time which is called the peak area. Thus, the compounds that have different of peak areas are grouped according to functional groups as shown in table 2. In table 2, we can see heat 9. The main product is heptadecan, namely C17H66. Next. We can see selectivity and yield of hydrocarbon in figure 4. It can be seen that the yield of hydrocarbon increase with increasing temperature used in hydrothermal decarboxylation. The increase in yield is not too long because the temperature range used in this study is small. Furthermore, alkane and alkane compounds from green diesel also increase with increasing temperature. The highest hydrocarbon yield was obtained at the highest temperature of 330 degrees Celsius at 20H.22%. However, the highest green diesel selectivity of 75.39% was obtained at 320 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, at a temperature of 330 degrees Celsius, it can give a selectivity of heptadecan of 10.220 H percent. The rest is olefins with a total selectivity of green diesel of 64.05 percent. And the last, we can conclude the highest 
hydrocarbon yield was obtained at 330 degrees Celsius, which gave yield of 20H.20 percent, 22%. However, the highest green diesel selectivity of 75.39 percent was obtained at 320. 20 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, at a temperature of 330 degrees Celsius, it can give a selectivity of heptadecan of 10.20H percent. The rest is olefin with a total selectivity of green diesel of 64.05 percent. The selectivity of green diesel at a temperature of 330 degrees Celsius is not much different from the selectivity of green diesel at a temperature of 320 degrees Celsius. It can be concluded that pellets of nickel calcium oxide activated carbon catalyst can give selectivity and yield of for green diesel production. And next, we can say thank you for your attention.